see you weeks. Yeah, see you on Sharpie, guys. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. yes you can read them. Okay. Good. Good thing. All right. Let me do. Um, I'm gonna do. It's 47 through 80. Hopefully, we'll see. We'll see how it goes, man. All right. So I'm gonna start with number. All right, 47. Let me start with that one right there. 47. That one. All right, 47, it looks like this. It says uh, 9 minus 10x plus x squared okay, plus negative 5 plus 4x minus 6x squared. Okay, is everybody okay with that one right there, right? All right, so now we're going to this one, there's a plus in the middle. So there's a plus, that means you're just gonna write it just like it is. Nine minus 10X plus X squared minus five plus four X minus six X squared. Is everybody okay with step number one? Because there's a plus, just copy it. All right, for step number one. All right, step number two, I'm gonna put one X squared and minus six x squared together. What's that gonna be? Somebody tell me the answer. Those two right there. Negative five x squared. There you go. That's, that's the right answer. Negative five x squared. And a negative ten x and a and a four was a negative ten and a four. This one. Negative six x. There you go. Six x. And the last one, I have the nine and the negative five is how much? Those two. What is it? Four. Four, there you go. Okay, so all right for number 47. Let me do one more 47, just because, okay? But if you have this, three X squared plus two X minus one, minus, and I'm gonna put a minus right here. Six X squared plus seven X minus 11. Two. Right. So first step, I'm just gonna copy this one. Three x squared plus two x minus one. That one stays the same. This one switches. Ready? So minus it, minus it, and a plus at the end. So all these signs right here, change them because this is minus sign right there. Is everybody okay with step number one? Now put them together. Uh, those two right there. What is three x squared minus six x squared? Tell me, tell me the answer. Where it is? Negative three x squared. Got it. Minus three x squared. And two x and negative six x. What is that one going to be? Negative four x. There you go. I need one more step. Eleven minus one. Those two. So you had to switch the numbers. What's that? You had to switch the seven to a six. Yeah, I can't. Is it the seven? To, oh, where is it? Oh, yeah, I see it. I see it. Yeah, he said that this is a seven. You're right. It's still a seven. as it changed. Okay, let's do it again. So one. So let me do the X's again. So X and a negative seven X is really going to be five. There you go. Okay. And the other one, what about the last number? What is that one? 10. 10, yeah, 10. All right, let me make sure everything's okay. 3x squared, 2x, 1, 6, 7, 11. That one and that one is this one. 2x and the 7x is negative 5x, and negative 1, 11, 10. Okay, that one's okay. 
All right, let me go to number 48, see what happens. 3x1, y1 times negative 2x7, y6. Okay, I'm multiplying those two numbers together. So multiply those two numbers right here. See the two numbers right here my fingers are? Tell me what that is. What's that times that? Negative six. Negative six. Okay. Now the powers, you need to add the numbers up here. So you have, let me let me highlight them a little bit. Hang on a second. So I have a positive one and I have a positive seven. Can I add those two numbers together? And how much is that gonna be? Plus them. Eight. Eight. Okay. And the y, I'm gonna add them together. See right here, the one and the six. How much is that gonna be? Seven. 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 Yeah, there you go. Seven. Okay. And then that's the end of it. Because multiplying like this, you have to add the powers. Is that for number 48? Yes or no? Yes? Yes. Okay. Go to the next one. 49. 49. 49. It says multiply negative two. X minus nine. All right, first two numbers, what do you think that is? Right there. Negative two. Negative two X. Yep. And the last one of your negative is a negative. What's that gonna be? Negative two is a negative nine? 18. 18. 18, yeah. Plus 18, yes or no? Yeah, negative, negative. Yeah, that's it. That's, you got it. 49, you're good. All right, number 50. 7x to the 1 times x squared plus 2x to the 1 plus 2. All right, so the first one's right here. These two right here. What's that one going to be? Add the powers too. So guess, what is it? 7x seven seven. power 3? Yeah, that's right. Just add them up. 7x3. And this one, what about the next one? Right there. Those are where my fingers are. 7x1, 2x1. 14x1? 14x1. Well, not 1, but... 2. Yeah, there you go. Because yeah, one plus one is two. Plus the last one, a seven x one times two, how much? That one right there. What do you think? Is that one 14 x one? Yeah, 14 x one. All right. And the the one thing, if you have a power, next here. This 14x to the one power, you don't need to put that the one power. You can just put it like this. Is that okay? So if you have a power of one, you can just leave it alone. Does that make sense? For that one right there? Let me highlight it. Yes. Yeah, you can that this and these mean the same thing. The right for number 50. Yes. Yes or no? Yes? Okay. All right, and go 51 then. We do the next page because it's going to be bigger. 51. All right. 51. So 51. Negative 2A4 B1 times 4A squared plus 4a1 b1 minus b to the 4 power. Okay. So there it is right there, right? So, sorry, for the, I'm sorry, for the, pro, for the problem where it says um, like b1 and a1, would it be the same if you were just to write like negative 2a power of 4b times 4a yeah, squared? Yeah, yeah. Okay. But the reason I do that, because, okay, yeah, this one, it doesn't matter because you have negative two times four, that's negative mm -hmm. eight. That's okay, no problem. A4, there's, a, there's an A2, A4, that's A6. 
-hmm. And then the B B one doesn't have anything, so it stays like that. Does that make sense? Okay, so now, but now the next one it does because if you go this this would be negative eight. A4 and A1 is A to the power of five. And B1 and B1 is B to the oh, power of okay, two. Okay, I get it. Yeah, yeah I get it. the last one, so that's going to be a positive two. A4, as by itself. But then the B1 <laughs> and the B4 is going to become B to the five, like that. Does oh, that make sense? Undo, that me, you, undo, do one now. You do this one by yourself. Try this one, okay? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just change the numbers a little bit. To X3, Y1. Okay, there's a one there times four uh, x second plus three x one y one minus seven y to the three power or something. Okay, just try that one. Don't say anything, just, just try it. Okay? I'll give you like two minutes and I'll notch it. All right, let's see, but you got this one. What's the first two numbers? Give me a number. Eight. Eight. Somebody okay with eight? How about X3 and X2? How much is that? Five. Five. How about the Y1? That's it. Just leave it like that, right? So how so about the next number? This one. Six. Six. And then X3 and X1 must be X to the power of four. How about Y1, Y1? Y two. Y two. Right there. And then the last one. Positives and negatives can be negative something. What? Fourteen. Fourteen. And you have X three. That's it's the same. What about the Y one and the Y three? What about those guys? Y four. Y four. Yeah. So the the powers you just get them add them up. And I just put a one because sometimes you'll forget that there's a one there. That's that's all. Does that make sense? Professor. Yes. I'm so sorry to interrupt, but I'm completely lost right now because Tuesday your class was not popping up on my canvas. And even this morning, like a bunch of us were still trying to find your Zoom. Uh -huh. And we were going from the Zoom that was sent in an announcement. Uh -huh. And now we're on this one completely lost because we, we didn't even get to see you on Tuesday. So, the, I, so everybody's on the Zoom now, right? Yes. I, I believe so, but... We yeah. have no you know what? I recorded the stuff on Tuesday, on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I recorded those classes. I have my eight o'clock classes recorded. So I put it in, on YouTube. So you can go to YouTube today and okay. go to YouTube, go to Alvarez Math Help Videos. Okay. And then you go playlist and you'll see, uh, as soon as you open that up, you'll see, it'll say, uh, follow up to college videos, recordings or something like that, 2021. And look at the one, the eight o'clock Monday, it's right there. And it's the same, the Monday, Tuesday are the same thing. And then, and then the Wednesday, Thursday are the same thing. Does that make sense? Yeah. So it's the same thing that we're doing. And actually the same number, I just changed the numbers. Like they might have a five or three or something. So I'm saying, but it's the same, same kind of problems. I have I, I a question. Does that make sense? Can you yeah, ask? It's just that none of us know what, like, cause I don't know. You, if it, I was getting a lot of emails yesterday, and I was trying to read them all, but all I kept saying was, please see PDF, and I don't know what PDF it is. I wasn't able to get into the Pearson stuff. Not yet. So I'm, I'm, I'm so confused. Okay, just, well, just look at that stuff, read it, and see if you can pop in there. And if not, on, on Tuesday, tell me about it, and I'll, I'll, I'll do some more stuff. But just try to get on there. Did, did some of you already get on the Pearson one? 
Yes, it was it was really hard to do all of it. Like it was confusing because there's a bunch of um, miscommunication with different announcements and things along those lines. And the last one that you did send in regards to the email, basically you just have to find that email and from there you were able to do it. It should have been sent to your student email. The student email? Mm-hmm. Okay, so you got to look at all your student emails and find it in there? Mm-hmm. Okay, well, just try that. See if you can find your student emails, find that one. And then hopefully the answer is yes. You'll be an and that's, that's just to get you into Pearson. And I haven't really been able to look over the whole Pearson thing yet, but I was able to find your videos online. Okay, you found the online on the YouTube land? Yes. Yes, okay. All right, well, just see what happens and then tell me on Tuesday, okay? Just try it. Hopefully, yes, the answer is yes, you'll get in there like the other guys. Okay. Well, let me do let me do number. What number is this? 51? I have a question for 51. Yes, go ahead. Can you explain why they're negative on the upper 51 and then the lower is a positive? Like the add? This one? Why the sign switched. Yeah. yeah. Yes, right uh, there. On this one? Yes. Positive is positive, positive times positive, and then positive times negative was negative. And over here, was negative times positive is a negative, and a negative times a positive is a negative. And then the last one, negative times a negative, make it a, make this one a plus. Okay. You see, you see why how this minus sign and this minus sign change each other? Yes. Become this one, and then this one had plus at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Then it was plus plus minus, so plus and plus that's the same thing. Plus and plus that's the same thing. Okay. And the last one, a positive times a negative, is going to become negative. One. Yeah, so that was the difference between those two right there. Okay, well, let's try number 52, see how it goes, okay? Number 52, it says x plus 5 times x plus 7. Okay, now instead of, now we have 2 by 2. So, first one, x to the 1, x to the 1, right? What do you think those two are going to be? One. And the powers. X1, X1 is X plus 1 plus 1. X squared. There you go. And X times 7. What's X times 7? 7. 7X. But again, X times X, X squared, X times 7, 7X. 5 times X. What's 5 times X? 5X. 5X. What's 5 times 7? 40. 30. Five. Five. So now, if I put this together, can I put this one and this one together right here with the two checks? What do you think that is? Just add them together. 12x? Yes, 12x. 35. Is that right like that for the x squared plus 12x plus 35? Yes. Okay, we do it again. I'm going to change the numbers, okay? Same problem, I'm just gonna change the numbers. All right, ready? How about this one? Uh, this is not gonna lose this. 52 again. How about this one? X minus three times X plus six. So X times X, give me numbers. X squared. X squared. X and negative six, I mean, X and plus six, give me numbers for this two. Six X. And minus three times X, what is that? Negative three X. There you go. The last one, a minus three times a positive six. Negative 18. Negative 18. All right, so now I put the numbers in the middle together. Well, I have positive six and I have negative three. What do you think? How much? Three X. Three X. Let me say three X. Okay, is that right? Yes. Let's do it again. I'm just gonna change the numbers, okay? Three X. All right, there it is. Same problem, I just changed the numbers, okay? Same, same business. So X times X, what do you think? X squared. X squared. X times three, what do you think? Three X. Three X. 
minus 7 times x. Negative 7x. And a negative 7 times a 3? Negative 21. 21. Okay, let me, let, me, let, me, let me do this before you, before you give me the answer. Let me do this. Let's see you go here because you're 21 years old. And your four best friends in San Antonio say we take, we'll give you the, we'll pay the hotel, the room, the food, the plane. You pay your gambling money. That's fine. You go there and you won three and then you lost seven. What happened to you? What's this number in the middle? Won three but lost seven. What's the answer in the middle? 4x. I don't think so. No, I'm sorry, negative 4x. Ah, uh, there you go. You're minus money, aren't you? Does that make sense? You won 3,000. It's a happy day. Then the next day, these casino people took away $7,000 from your wallet. So you're minus money. Does that make sense for the minus in the middle? Let me do it again. Yes. Let's do it again. Same thing. I'm just going to change the numbers. Let's so say you have x minus 5, and then you have x plus 8. All right, go ahead and mute your machines. Mute your machines, please. Thanks. And then turn it on. When you're going to answer, tell me something. First one, x and x. Give me an answer. x squared. x squared, got it. x times 8. 8x. Eight 8x. Eight Negative 5 times x. Negative, negative five. Five x. There you go. And a negative times a positive is a negative 40. 40. All right. Think like Las Vegas again, whatever. This time, you won money, won $8,000. That was a happy day. But then the next day, you lost 5000 So what do you have? Middle. 3x. Positive 3x? Yes. All right. Somebody said the middle is a positive. Is that okay? Yes, that's right. It's a positive. Let's do another 52. Okay, let's say your loser friend. Loser friend goes with you. And he goes X minus 1, X minus 9. Ready? First one, X and X. Give me numbers. X and X. X squared. Got it. X squared. What about X and negative 9? 9. 9X. Negative 9X. Okay. How about negative one and x? Negative x. Negative one x. Okay. And then negative times a negative? Positive nine. Positive nine. Okay. So now, like, look at your loser friend. He's there with you. He's like, can I go with you? Sure. Come on in. Put your money, man. He happened. He lost money. The first day. He lost more money the next day. So what do you think is in the middle now? Negative 10 x. Yeah. That's nine. You see why everybody see why it's a negative in the middle? Because he lost money and then he lost more money. That means he just lost money. That's all it means. Does that make sense for that one? He lost and he lost. Okay, let me do it again. I'm gonna do 52 again, okay? Just to make sure that you know how to do this one, okay? 52. Sir, out of yes. curiosity, sure. whenever um whenever you have someone losing the negative 10x. What would be, what would you use the x squared for in a nine in a um, math sentence? Those? How, yeah, how would you use that with your um, theory of friends in Vegas? Oh, that, that, I don't know. I mean, these things you use them like, they're, I tell you what they are. This right here, x squared minus 10x plus whatever, it's a graph, and I'll just tell you what they look like. They look something like this. I don't know if you've seen it before in algebra or something in high school. Mm -hmm. That's what these things are. And what you do with them is you find out when the high point will be. And I'll, give, I'll tell you what that might be. This is a graph, yes. And it goes up like this, yes. Mm -hmm. And let's say, let's say, I don't know. Let's say you heard, you heard your little finger, okay? Ow, my little finger hurts. And they put painkiller in it. Okay, that's great. Kill the pain, man. But... What, what's going to happen is once they put the painkiller in it, it, it there's a down. place where the meds going to be really effective. You feel no pain at all in your hand. Move my hand here. Mm -hmm. Your hand. He said, man, I feel really great. My hand doesn't hurt at all. They cut it. They fix the little finger. And it's okay. But guess what happens? The medicine was working. No pain, no pain, no pain. Man. And then does it go the other way? 
It starts going back to exactly. It starts going back to here. All of a sudden, you go, "Holy cow! Oh my gosh! I feel all the everything, all the little cuts and things they did to it. I feel everything." So this would be a call the max, or sometimes they call it a vertex, and that's what this. And there's they have to figure out that at what time is this meant? Maybe after three hours after they give you this stuff, this is the best time to do it. Because after that, it's going to go the other way. Does that make sense? Or if you go, I don't know if you're, one day, I know you're going to go here. You're going to go, this, there's a guy called the dentist, and he checks your teeth, okay? He checks for cavities. Yeah, and you go every, I know you go to dentist like every 10 years, right? Is that what it is? Every 10 years you go to dentist, check out your mouth, make sure you don't have cavities. Okay, so every 10 years, you check out your, make sure you don't have cavities. And he goes, x-rays it, looks it out, and if you see somebody that has bad, he's going to have to drill it, fit it, fix it. So they're going to, what are they going to put? Hopefully, they put painkiller. So when he starts drilling, it's cutting and stuff, he won't feel it. Does that make sense? But he has, this guy has to know, she has to know, when do I start doing it? If I give you the shot, how long does it take before it gets to the right place? Does that make sense? So that's what these things are. The parabola is going this way, where you want to find what is the max, what is the highest point, or it could go the other way. It could be upside down like this. You're seeing it like this also, right? So you go like this, parabola is like this way or that way. Does that make sense? But that's what these are. And right now, I'm just trying to get, make sure you know how to add and subtract. Do you know how to add and subtract? You know how to add and subtract? That's all I'm doing right now. Thank you. I, I, just want, I just want you to have adding and subtracting skills, okay, today. Okay. okay, let me do one more like this one. Let's do a couple more like this because I want to make sure that there's no confusion, okay? How about this one? X plus A, X minus A. Okay, you do this one and I'll do it in a second. Okay. X plus A, X minus A, work it out, wait, and don't tell me the answer. Just wait, wait about one minute. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. All right, so ready. So X times X, what do you think it is? X squared. X squared. What about X and negative eight? Negative eight. Negative eight X. That's right. And then what about eight times X? Eight X. Plus eight X. Okay, now the last one. A positive times a negative? Is a positive? Uh, I don't think so. Positive times a negative is a uh, negative. negative. 60 what? 64. There you go. Use your calculators. All right. So now they think about this guy. Yeah. And then again, I'm just going to Las Vegas because you want 8,000. Uh, you lost 8,000 the next day. What happened to your money? You had all these $100 bills in your pocket, but now what? You won, you lost. Did you lose all of it? Yes. So is it completely gone? Yes. So we just have this left over. Okay, does everybody agree with this last part? Because right positive A, negative A, they cancel each other out. Okay, now, I'm going to do the same problem, but this time I'm going to put this double signs like this. Okay, I'm going to put plus, minus, minus, minus. Okay. Same problem, just two signs. Just make sure you know how to add and subtract, okay? X times X, give me numbers. X squared. X squared. X times negative eight. Negative eight X. There you go, negative eight X. And negative eight times X again. 64. No, 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 right here. Oh, I'm sorry. Negative eight X, there you go. Okay, now what you just said, a negative times a negative is a positive, right, 64. Okay, now this guy, your loser friend, what happened? He lost eight, and then he played the next day. He lost another eight out of his pockets. What happened? It's negative 16. Yes, this is a negative 16x. Okay, does everybody see the difference between this one and this one? Is that okay with 52 and 52? Yes. All right, then let's go 53 then. Let's say you have the skill. Let's go next one. This is going to be 5x plus 6. Times 5x minus 1. There it is. All right, this one. 5x times 5x. Tell me what it is. 25. 
25 x squared, yes or no? Yes. Yes. All right. And what's 5x and negative 1? All right, look at my fingers. 5x times negative 1. Negative five. Five. There you go, negative 5x. All right, so we're done with that one. Now this one. It's positive 6 times a positive 5x. Thirty. Thirty x. And a positive six and a negative one. What do you think that is? Negative six. Negative six. All right. So think like this. This is this is you. Now this is you in Las Vegas. Even though I just want to make sure you know how to answer track. You won thirty thousand dollars the first day you were there. The next day you lost five thousand dollars of your money. What happened? How much do you still have? What's in the middle? 25. Yep, plus 25 X. X minus six. So is that okay for the middle part? One money, he lost money. He said, okay, I said, I don't play anymore. I'm done. I don't play anymore. Is that okay for 53? Yes or no? Yes. Yes? Okay, I'm gonna go next one then. I'm gonna say yes, 54. I'm gonna 54. <laughs> This is page seven. All right, 54 is 7a minus b times a plus six letter b. All right, the first two right here, 7a times a. And remember, this is a one power and this is a one power. So what do you think that's going to be right here where my fingers are? Is it 7a squared? Yes, yeah, 7a squared is the right answer. 7a squared. Now, what is 7a times 6b? Right here, these two numbers right here. 7a times 6b. What's 7 times 6 in your calculators? 42. Somebody said 42, yes or no? Yes. And it's 42a and b. 42a and b. Now, what's a negative b times a or a times b? What is this going to be? A times negative B, negative B times A, negative what? BA. Yeah, BA or AB. You can flip it around if you want to. The last one. A negative B times a positive 6B. What about that? Negative B times positive 6B. Negative 6B squared. Yes. Okay, so now, and I'm going to do this right here to make it easier. I'm going to put a 1 in there. So now, think like money again. If you think of money, it's better. You won 42,000. That's a happy day. Uh, you lost 1,000 the next day. What happened? What's in the middle? 41 AB. 41 AB minus 6B squared. Okay. And then that's the end of it. So this is a. Now, let me go back to this, this, this part here. If I say 2 times 3, is that going to be a 6? Yes or no? 2 times 3 is 6? Yes. And somebody said no. Three times two is the right way to do it. That's a whoa. That's still gonna be a six. Is that right? Yes or no? Two times three yes. and three times two are they the same? And if you go a times b, I bet you it's the same thing as saying b times a. What do you think? They're the same numbers, just flipped. Yes. So a times b, b times a. It's the same, same answer. Does that make sense? So that's why I flipped it. Instead of it having b times a, I just get a b. All right, for 54, so I did that. Yeah. Okay, so now let's go harder one, number 55. This is two by two. Number 55 is gonna have two by three. So it's gonna be a minus seven times five a squared plus four a minus two. Okay, so now it's gonna be two and three things. All right, so again, this is a one, and this is a one, just remember that, okay? So ready? The first and the first. What do you think a to the one times five eight to the second is? What is that right there? Is it five a three? Exactly. Five a three. All right. Same one. A one times four a one. What do you think that's going to be? Four a squared. Four squared. Exactly. Plus four a 
second power. And what's A1 times a negative two? Negative what's two. A? What's A times two? Negative two. So let me say, it. what is it? Negative two A, yes or no? Yes. Like that. Okay, we're done with this. Now go next number. Negative seven times that one. What do you think negative seven times five A squared is? 35 A squared. Yeah, negative 35 A second, yes or no? Okay, and what's negative seven times four A? Negative 28. Yeah, negative, so 28? Like that? Okay. Last one, a negative times a negative? Positive. Positive what? 14. 14. Okay, so I got all my numbers. They're there in front of me. So now what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to put them together somehow. What is the A cubes? Any more A cubes in there? Is that the only one? No, that's the only one. That's going to copy it down. All right. And we have a 4A squared and we have a negative 35A squared. So those two numbers so give me high. Yeah, minus somebody said. Okay, somebody said that this is a negative 31. Is everybody okay with that? So see the yellows? You can write down what you said. Negative 31a to the power of 2. Is that okay? All right, what about the other two numbers? This one. 38. Negative 38, exactly. And the 14, I'm just going to copy it like that. Okay, so that's a five, five. Yes or no? Yes? Yes. Okay, we do not. So two by two, two by three. Okay, let me do it on the next page. I'm going to do the next one, okay? I'm going to go to the next page. Let me do number 56. 56, it says, yeah, x squared plus 4x x squared plus 4x plus 2 times 5x squared plus 6x plus 5. Okay, so now I have what? Ooh, 3 by 3. 3 times 3. Mm, okay, that's fine. 3 by 3. All right, so let's just do the first two. Think right here. x squared times 5x squared. What do you think that's going to be? 5x to the 4th. Right. Let me write it down. So we said 5x power of 4. Everybody okay again? x squared, 5x squared is 5x to the 4 power. Okay. Now this one times the middle one. What do you think that's going to be? x squared times 6x. This is a 1. Think like this is a 1. What's x to the 2 power? 6x six six to the x 3. Four. Right. Plus 6x 3. All right, x squared times five, what about that? Five x squared. There you go, plus five x squared. All right, so now we're here. Four x times this one here. Four x to the one times five x squared. What do you think that's gonna be? 20 x three? Yep, plus 20 x power. And what's 4x times 4x1 times 6x1? What about those two? Right there. My fingers are. 24x squared? Yep. Plus 24x squared. And what's 4x times 5? 20x. Yes, plus now this one. Two times five x squared. This one right here. 10x squared. Yep. And x to the power of two. And two times six x. 12x. That's 12x. And Ten. two times five. Ten. 10, yes or no? Yes. Okay, so now we have all the stuff in front of us, bunch of it. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to put 
like turns together. It has to be the same exact power. Well, let me see. X4. Any more X4s in there? That no, the only one? It's only one. Yeah, that's the only one. So copy it down. 5X4. All right. And we have 6X cubed and 20X cubed. I have those two together. Can I put them together? How much? Those two right here. Look at my fingers. 26X. 26X. Third, and you just add the numbers, leave the powers alone, okay? And then I have squares. Let me see what I have. I have 5x squared. Hold on, let me, let, me, let me highlight them. This one. And I have this one. And I have this one right here. You yeah, have those right there. So go back to this. 5x squared, and square. 24. This is, what is this, 29? Is that right? 29. Mm -hmm. And then you still got more, right? You still got and then 30. 10 more. So, so much? 29, 39. 39. Plus 39x to the second power. And then I have 20x and I have a 12x. What do you think that's going to be? 32x. 32x. Plus the 10 at the end. Is that right for 56? Yes. Yeah. You gotta do step one, step two, step three. That's all you gotta do. 57. This is a little bit better. It's shorter. 7x plus 2 times 7x minus 2. So now instead of 3 by 3, you've got 2 by 2. So ready? So let's multiply the first numbers. So 7x times 7x. Remember, this is a one power. What do you think that's gonna be? 49x squared? Yes. 49x squared. And 7x times negative 2. What do you think that's going to be? Negative 14. All right. So now just positive 2 times positive 7. And a positive two times a negative two. Negative four. Negative four. All right. Like, like money or something. Okay. Positive 14. Yay. Negative 14. No. What do you think happens in the middle? Cancel. Cancels out. Because you want 14,000. And you lost fourteen thousand. Somebody said they just cancel each other out. So is it is it this leftover? Yes or no? Yes. Yep. Like that. Okay. We do another one at fifty-seven. Just to make sure you get the hang of this. Okay. Another fifty-seven. Okay. I'm gonna say three x minus ten and three x plus a ten. All right. It's the same thing. I just change the numbers. Ready? 3x, 3x. Give me numbers. 9x squared. There you go. 9x squared. And 3x times 10. What's that going to be? 30x. That's 30x. And negative 10 times 3x. Negative 138. Oh, wait, wait. Look at my fingers. Oh, one bad. Negative 30x. There you go. And then the last one is going to be what you said. Negative 10 times a positive 10 is a... Uh, negative 100. There you go. Negative 100. Okay. But, again, when I look at the middle, you won 30,000, whatever. You lost 30,000. What does that mean? Is it gone? Is the middle part gone? Yes or no? Yeah. Did they cancel each other out? Yeah, cancels out. Yes. yes. Uh, uh, so you have this left over. That. Okay, for five seven. Okay, let me do one more fifty seven just to make sure that you got it. Okay, before I go to the next one, one more like fifty seven. I'm gonna change it a little bit. How about this? X minus nine and X minus nine. Two minus signs this time. Two minus signs. Okay, so let's set it up. X times X. Tell me. X squared. 
X squared, you got it. X times negative nine. Negative nine. That's nine. right. Negative nine. You're right. Okay, so now this one. Negative nine times X. Negative nine. Negative nine X. That's right. And the negative times a negative is a positive something. 81. 81. All right. But we'll be careful on this one. Check it out. This one, your loser friend. He lost 9,000. And then the loser friend, he lost another 9,000 the next day. So did he break even again or not really? No, he didn't. What happened? What's it becomes negative 18x. All right. Y'all see why it is a negative 18 in the middle? Because they don't cancel each other out. They're minus and minus. It's just minus. Y'all see this right here? A minus and a minus put together. It's still going to be minus something. Is that right for 57? Yep. Okay, let's go 58 then. I see, you, I see your skill is okay right there. So X minus 10 to the power of 2, what that means to me is that you do it twice. X minus 10, X minus 10. Is everybody okay with step number one? All right. Now, the next step. Let's do FOIL. Ready? Fold this thing up. What is X times X? X squared. X squared, there you go. What's X times negative 10? Negative 10 X. There you go, negative 10 X. And what's negative 10 times X? Negative 10. Mm -hmm. And a negative times a negative? Positive. Positive, Positive 100. 100. 100. That's right. So now, let's see what we have. We have X squared, but Gonna go away, is it? You lost 10. Uh, then you lost another 10. What happened? Negative 20. Negative 20. Exactly. Somebody said that this is a negative 20. Is everybody okay with a negative 20 in the middle? Yep. yep. Yes. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go next one then. If you say yes, that means go to the next question. Okay, let me go to number 59. Do the next page. 59. 59. It says 2x plus 2 to the power of 2. So that means 2x plus 2 times 2x plus 2. Like that. Two times. Is that right? For the twice? So now let's see the next step. What do you think that 2x times 2x is? 4x squared. Yep. 4x squared because this is the one and this is the one, right? And what is 2x times 2? 4. 4x. And what's 2 times 2x? 4x. 4x. And what's 2 times 2? Positive 2, positive 2. Is that the 4? Okay. So this is 4x squared, and I don't know. You tell me. You want 4, you want 4. What is it? 8 it. 8 x. It's 4, right? Is everybody okay at 59? Yes. That's fine. If you say yes. If it is, say yes. I always say no, and I'll do it again. Can you do another All right. one? Yes? All right, number 60. Let's go to number 60 then. 5x to the second, and y? times negative 5x to the 5 power and y to the 3 power. Right, before I do anything, let me do this first. 5x to the second, y to the 1. And negative 5x to the 5 and y to the 3. All right, so I just put a 1 right here. Y'all see what I did right there? Just put a 1 right there. For this one, I just put a 1. So I know that there's a 1 power in there. Okay, so ready? What's 5 times 85? Negative 25. There you go. Negative to the 7. Five. And somebody said that this is 2 and 5 is a 7. Is that right? And what about the Y? What about the Y's? 5, 4. 
four. Somebody said four because one plus three is four. So is everybody okay with the setup right there, number 60, six zero? Okay, I'm gonna say yes. Can you yeah, do one more? Of course. So now when I 60, let's say you have negative three x y times let's say I don't know ten x squared y eight. All right. First thing I do, can I put ones right here? Yes or no? Is that okay? Put yeah. one. Yes. All right. So now the numbers and the numbers. What do you think a negative three times a positive ten is? What's that right there? Where my fingers are. Negative 30. Negative 30. And you have x to the 1, x to the 2. Can I put the edge of powers up? How much is the powers up? You got x3. X3, there you go. And you have y1 and y8. How much is that going to be? You add them up. Y9. Y9, like that. So this one, you just add up the powers. Does that make sense? Yes, thank you. Is that okay for 60 and 60? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go 61 then, is that okay? Let's go 61. Yes. Let's go 61. All right, 61. Let's see, we have 5x times x squared plus 7x plus four. So before I do this one, let me do this first. This is a one power. And this is a one power, and this is a four like that. Okay, I just put one and one there, that's all. Is that okay? So now, now let's work it out. First and the first, what do you think? Five X one times X two, what do you think that's gonna be? Five X three? Exactly. All right, and what about the middle one? Five X one times the seven X one. Here, these two right here. What's five times seven? Thirty-five. Thirty-five. And x to the one, x to the one. What's one plus one? X squared. Yep. So is it going to be thirty-five x squared? Yes or no? Okay. Yeah. That's the last one. Five x one times four. Twenty. Twenty. And you don't need to vote the one, you can just go 5x cubed plus 35x squared plus 20x, and then that's the end of it like this. Does that make sense for the last part? Yes. Okay, 61 is good, yes or no, yes? Yes. I'm yes. say it's okay, let's go to 62 then. Let's say 61 is okay, let's go. X plus nine times X plus six. Okay, there, now it's a two by two. X times X, remember just the one and the one. So what do you think it is? X squared. X squared. And X times six, what is X times six? X. Six, six X, right? Yes or no, yes? yes? This one. Nine times X. Nine X. Nine X. Nine times six. 54. 54. Okay. Like Las Vegas or whatever. Or thing like money. Positive six and a positive nine is a positive something. What do you think that is? 12x. No, almost. Okay, do it again. Do the calculator. Positive six and a positive nine. Calculator. 15x. There you go. That's 54. Okay, is everybody okay with the 15x in the middle or 62? Yes. Yes? I'm going to say yes. I'm going to go next one, okay? 63. Let's go to 63 then. Okay, this one says x plus 10 times x minus 8. So x times x. I know that's x squared. I got that part. What about x and negative 8? What is that going to be? Negative 8x. There you go. Negative 8x. And what's 10 times x going to be? 10x. 10x. 
And a 10 times a negative 8 is a negative what? 80. 80. All right, now think like money again. You won 10 and then you lost 8. What happened in the middle? You won 10,000, you lost 8,000. What are you? 2x. Let me say positive 2x. Is that okay? And let me highlight this. Just make sure you don't mess it up. Okay? You got 10, which is a good thing, but then you lost 8, and you still a plus 2. Is everybody okay with the plus 2 right there? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. All right. Let's go to the next one then. I'm going to say that one's okay. Is that good? Can I go to 64 then? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, let's go to the next one. 64. 64. This is page number 12. All right, 64, it says 3x plus 5 times. 5x minus 1. 3x plus 5 times 5x minus 1. What is 3x times 5x? 15x squared. Yeah, 15x squared. And what's 3x and negative 1? Negative 3x. Yep. So now this one. 5, a, 5 times 5x. 25x. And 5 times negative 1. Minus 4. Oh, multiply. 5 times 1. 5. Five there you go. All right. So now, in the middle, think like, think like money or whatever. Or think like, I'm going to give you this. I'm going to give you $25. Okay. And I can say, hey, you know what? Give me $3 back. So how much do you still have? I give you 25. Say, so you know what? Give me three back. 22x. That's right. 22x. That's 22x. Like that. Is everybody okay with the middle number of 22? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go 65 then. Is that okay? Steal number 65. So we have 12 minus 13x. And 11 plus 10x, like that. So first one, 12 times 11, doing the calculator. 12 times 11. 132. 132. And 12 times 10x. 120x. 120x. Yeah. All right, so now this one, negative 13 times 11. What do you think that's going to be? 143. Negative 143. 143, letter X. And negative 13X times 10X. Negative 130. X to the power of 2, yes or no? Yep. One power, one power. All right, so now I have squares, I have Xs, I have numbers. Let's start with the highest power. Well, X squares. Any more X squares? Or is that the only one with my fingers? Only, no. Only ah! one, right? So let's put it here. All right, next one. All right, think like this. Think like, hold on. Let me, let me highlight this. Before. Don't tell me the answer yet. Just wait. All right. Go ahead and mute your machines and then answer it. When you can answer it, unmute it. Tell me the answer. All right. So this time, you're in Las Vegas. Mm, you're a high roller person. You want $120,000, and the next day, you lost 143000 So what is it? 23x. Negative no. 23. Ah, there you go. Negative 23x. So somebody said, it's a negative 3 in the middle. Is that right? Okay. And then the 132 is still there. All right. So the square is there. This 2x is right here. became this one. And then that's it, right? Does that make sense? Yes or no? From there to there, and the 32 yeah. top bit. Okay. All right, 65. Everybody will okay with 65? Okay, I'm going to go next one. 66. It says 4A 
plus 5b times a minus 3 letter b. So 4a times a, what do you think that's going to be? This is a 1 power, this is a 1 power. What is that? 4a squared. There you go. 4a squared. And 4a times negative 3b. Negative 12ab. There you go. Minus 12 a and then the letter b right a b b a same thing how about this one 5b times a 5b squared no look at it again 5b times a 5b a yeah a b b a yeah somebody said yeah it's gonna be five for sure but it's gonna be the a and the b or the b and a because they're just different letters you see it the last one this is gonna be a square 5b times negative 3b What do you think is negative 15 b square there you go that one is a square and the reason is because this is a one power and this is a one power and they're the same letter does that make sense all right now the middle part you have four a squared and you have negative you have five a b that's what you want but then you lost five negative five a b so you won and you lost what is the answer in the middle Negative seven AB. Yep. Plus or no minus fifteen B squared. All right. So it's gonna be four A squared minus seven AB in the middle and then minus fifteen B squared. Is that okay? And this is a minus because what? This is more the minus is bigger than the plus. All right, is that okay for number sixty-six? Yes. Yes. Yeah. But it's good with sixty-six. Okay, let's go sixty-seven then. I'm going to say yes, you have skills, man. 13. All right. 67. All right. 67 looks like this. It says x plus 4 times x squared plus 2x plus 8. There it is. There's a setup on it, right? X plus 4, X squared plus 2, X plus 8. And this is a 1, and this is a 1, right? So, X1 times X2. See my two fingers? What do you think that is? X3. X3, X3 got it. And X to the 1 times 2, X to the 1. What about those two? Where are my fingers on? 2x squared. Yes, plus 2x squared. And x times 8. 8x. 8x. The 1, you don't need the 1 part. Ready? Now this one. 4 times x squared. 4x squared. Mm -hmm. And 4 times 2x. 8x. 8x. And the last one. Four times eight. Positive four times positive eight. Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Okay, wait, okay, one more numbers right there. So now I need to put the cubes to see. Uh, that's the only one. That's it, right? Copy it. X cube it. Okay. All right. And what about the squares? Let me give me highlights where you can see them. Looks like I have two x squared right here. And I have a four x squared right here too. So can I put those together? How much? Just add them up. Six x squared. There you go. Six x power stays the same. And it looks like I have an eight x and I have another eight x over here. How much is that? 16 x. Okay. And then the number 32, copy it down. Okay, is that right for 67? You could do 68. It's kind of just real close to that one. 68, it's the same kind of problem. Ready? This one says, let's see, 4a minus 6, 4a minus 6 times. 8a squared 
it's 2a minus 4. Let me do it again. 4a minus 6, 8a squared plus 2a minus 4. Okay, ready? So the first one, this is the one power, remember that. Uh, what is that going to be? 32a3. Yep. 32a. And what's 4a times the middle number going to be? 8a okay. squared. Yep. Plus 8a squared. And what's 4a times negative 4? A, negative, negative 16a. There you go. Minus 16a. Okay, that's that's that problem. Yes. Now we're here. Negative 6 times 8a squared. What is that gonna be? Negative 48a squared. 48a squared. And what's negative 6 times 2a? Negative 12a squared. <gasps> Say it again. Negative 12a. Ah, there you go. 12a. And negative 6 times negative 4. A negative times a negative. What do you think? Positive 24. Yep. 24. All right. So there we go. We have all the numbers set up. So let's work it out. Uh, cubes, is that the only one? That's it, right? 32a cube. Okay. Now the squares. Let's see what I have. Hang on, don't let me let me highlight them a little bit. I have this one here. And I got this one here. Okay, so I got those two right there. What is 8a squared minus 48a squared? What do you think that's going to be? 40a squared. Negative 40a squared. There you go. Negative 40 squared. Make sure you put the minus sign because otherwise you'll, you'll mess up the problem. Okay? All right. Now, we got that part done. You got any money. You want 8,000, but you lost 48, you're a minus 40 person. Now the other one, how about this one? The minus 16a and a minus 12a. Do now two minus signs. It's gonna be negative something. What do you think it negative is? Negative 28a. Yeah, there you go. Negative 28a. And then the 24, I'm just gonna copy it down. Is that all right now? Yes or no? Click my numbers. Yes. Yes, if you say it's okay. All right, I'm gonna go to number 69 next. Is that okay? Yeah, you gotta be careful because let me let me tell you this right now. One day you're gonna get a job. Just believe it or not, okay? You're gonna work somewhere, and I don't know what you're gonna be. Let's say you're gonna be a nurse. You're gonna be a nurse at I don't know, Santa Rosa, and you're gonna be an RN, and you're gonna be working at the ER at Santa Rosa Hospital. All right, and then they're gonna tell you, okay, this is your job. Your job. Is to look at A B positive, A B negative, O positive, all these collections of something called blood. Okay? A bunch of different kinds of blood and different kinds of pluses and minus signs in it. Okay? They're gonna say, okay, we need A B positive blood. You need three units, four units, whatever they tell you. So you go get it, right? Does it matter if you accidentally get one of these and one of these and one of these and one of the other ones over here? Does it matter? What do you think? If you get the different kinds of blood and put them in that person, does it gonna is it gonna affect them? Yes. Just because it has a plus and that one has a minus, does it matter? Yeah. Yes, a lot. Not to you, but to them. Uh, yeah. So you're gonna have to make sure you put. If it's AB positive, that's what you do. If it's AB negative, that's what you do. If it's O positive, that's what you do. Does that make sense? You just do another thing you're going to have to do. If you're an ER one day working as an RN, an ER emergency room on, on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday nights, there's also something called, okay, let me ask you this. 
If you ever look in the refrigerator and you see some milk in your refrigerator, there's a milk like that. Okay. And at the bottom, real small lettering, it'll have something that this it says expiration. And it'll say like this 8 1 21. What does that mean? This milk is good until when? 8 1 21. What does that mean? That on August the 1st of this year, 21, you should not drink it anymore, huh? Does that make sense? But today, what's today? Today's the, the 26th, is that right? Today's the 26th. And you say, you know what? I don't care. I'm still going to drink it. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? You tell me right now. Said, you know, I don't care. I'm gonna drink. I need some cold milk. I'm gonna drink cold. It's in the refrigerator anyway. I know, and I know it's expired, but oh, come on, it's only like 25 days. You know, come on. How bad can it be? So here's a question for you: When you go to the ER, you're working there. There's AB positive, AB negative, O positive, all kinds of. That. Does blood have expiration? Yes or no? Is the blood good forever? No. no, there's expiration on it too. So if you go in there and it says 8 1 21, that means this blood's done. Don't use it. It's expired, like the milk. It's used. It's too much bacteria, too much stuff's going on. Don't use it. Don't use it. Does that make sense? So it doesn't matter the pluses and the minus signs. I say yes, it matters a little bit. It matters a little bit, okay? All right, let me go next one. Uh, where are we at? 67, 68, 69. Okay, what's the, you'll see one day you'll be working at RN. And the good thing about when you're an RN, they'll let you work extra shifts too, right? They work double shifts and stuff, which is good because that means you make more money. Think about it. Is that good? I say yes. It's a good thing. Uh -huh. All right, 14. Let me do number 69. 69 looks different. And let me show you why I'm saying it's different because it goes like this. It goes 2x squared plus 6x plus 4. So it's a 3 by 2. So it just, it just got flipped. It just says 3 by 2 instead of 2 by 3. But you do it the same way. Put a 1, put a 1. All right. The first two where my fingers are, what do you think that's going to be? 4x, 3. 4x3, right? Let me write this down. 4x3. So 2x squared times 2x to the 1, 4x3. Now this one. 2x squared times 3. What do you think that's going to be? 6. 6 what? 6x. 6x what? Yeah, that's right. Not 6x squared. Okay, we're done with that one. Now next one. 6x times 2x. 12 and x squared. Yes. And 6x times 3. 18x squared. It's 18x, yes or no? Think about it. Yes, just x, I think. Okay, now this last one. 4 times 2x. 8x. Four times three. 12x. Four times three. 12. Just 12, regular 12, yes or no? Yes. Hey, look at my fingers. Four times three. Yes. 12. 12, okay. So now, I have all this stuff in front of me. So I'm gonna have to put it together somehow. So let's, let's do this. Four X cubed, that's the only one. So just copy it down. You don't have to mess with it, but this one, uh, 6x squared and 12x squared. What about those two right there? What do you think that's going to be? I don't know. How much? 18x squared. Okay. And what about this one? 18x and 8x. 
Okay. And then the 12 is still there, right? So I leave it right there. All right. Is that okay for number 69? Yes, hopefully the answer is yes, of course it is. Yes? Yep. All right. I'm going to go number 70 then, right? Ready? Number 70, 70. This one says x squared minus 8x minus 4 times 6x squared plus 2x plus 2. Ooh, 3 by 3. And instead of 3 by 2, now 3 by 3. It's the same thing. You can still do it. I'm going to put a 1 here. Put 1's right there. Ready? The first two right here. Let me put my hands on it. See right there? 6x squared and x squared and 6x squared. What do you think that's going to be? 6x exponent of 4. Yes. 6x to the power of 4 like that. Okay. What about this one here? x squared and 2x. 2x squared. 2 plus 1. To the third. Yeah, there you go. All right. Now this one. x squared times just a 2. Guess. 2x. 2x squared. Yeah, there you go. To this plus 2x squared. Okay, now this one. Negative 8x times 6x squared. This one right here. Look at my fingers. Negative 8x to the 1 times 6x to the second. How much is that? Negative 48x to the third. Yes. Negative 48x to the 3 power. Now this one here. Negative 8x times 2x. What do you think that's going to be? Negative 16x squared. Okay. Negative 16x squared. And now negative 8x times a positive 2. Negative 16x. There you go. Finally, yay. Let's get in there. Finally, with the last part. Negative 4 times this one. Negative 4 times 6x squared. Squared. Negative what? 24? Okay. X squared. Okay. And negative 4 times 2x. Negative 8. Just 8x? Okay. And the last one, a negative 4 times 2. Negative 8. Negative 8. Okay, so I got all my stuff right there in front of me. So now, what I'm going to have to do is put all this stuff together. So let's see, 4 power, is that the only one? So I'm going to copy it. So now, now the other one. Let me, let me highlight it. Before I say anything, let me just highlight these things. I have a cube right there, and I have a cube right there. What do you think? Cubes and cubes. What is your guess? Yeah. You want to? He lost 48. What is negative, that? Negative 46. Okay. X3. Yep. Negative 46 X3. And over here, you have a 2X. Let me see. What else? Yeah, let me do the squares. I'm going to put check marks. There's one. There's one. Oh, and there's one right there. So let's see what we have. We have 2x squared and a minus 16x squared. What do you think that's going to be? 14x squared. Yeah, negative 14x squared. Sorry. It's going to be negative 14, right? But then negative 14 and another negative 24. What's negative 14 and negative 24? Negative 38. 38. X to the second. All right. X's. Let me see if I have any X's. Oh, yeah, there's one. I have negative 16X and I have a negative 8X. You see the double check marks right there? So what do you think a negative 16X and a negative 8X is going to be? Negative 24X. Negative 24X. 
And the last number I see is what? Negative what? Okay, like this. All right, all right for number 70. Just gotta do step by step by step, okay? Everything has to be exactly the way it is, okay? All right, I'm gonna go number 71. Ready? Can I go 71? Yes. All right, let's go. Come on. All right. No, I think I was thinking about that right now. I think what I just told you right now. RN working in the ER. But don't they don't they do like um don't they do like 12 hour shifts or something? Don't they do like three days only? I don't know. I, I heard somebody told me that. Not right now. Not right now? What are, what are they doing now? Are they doing every single There's day? 12 hour shifts pretty much every like seven single days, day. Every day you're working 10 hours, 10 hours, 10 hours, or 12, 12, 12 hours, something like that. 12, right? 12, 12, yep. Yeah, I think right now. Because I had some some answer with nurses. They say, man, we're working like a lot, a yes. lot, a lot, a lot. You know, there's no three days off or nothing. Nope. You no, know, because you got so much, so many customers and it's day and night and no way. So, man, we, and, and they have to do, when and actually when you go beyond your time, they also give you the overtime or whatever they call it. Something like that. I don't know. They said this is what it was. All right. Let's go to number, what are we on, 71? Is that right? 71, let me see, I did number 70, yes, 71. This one, it has B minus a four, and B minus a one, and B plus a three. All right, so we have, this time we got one, two, three things. Before I do this problem, let me, let me go back to something that you know how to do. Two times three, times four. Okay, one way to do this, you can say two times three is six, and six times four is 24. So that's one way to do it. Somebody said, no, I don't wanna do that. I wanna do it the other way. What do you mean the other way? I'm gonna do the last numbers first. Okay, so three times four is 12, and then two times 12 is 24 also. So, you did the first two and then the last one, or you did the last two and then the first one. Does it matter if you go this way or this way? No, it's the same answer. Does that make sense for that right there? So I'm gonna do the last two. I'm just gonna do this, these two first. That's just, I just choose that way. All right, ready? So B times B, somebody tell me. What's B to the one, B to the one? B squared. B squared. Was B times three? Three B. Three B. What's negative one times B? Negative one B. Negative one B. And what's negative one times positive three? Three B. Well, ne no, negative, negative one times negative. three. Yeah, three. Negative this three. Is yeah, that's it. All right, so now we have this right here. So now we have B squared and What's 3B minus 1B? 3 minus 1. 2B. 2B, there you go. 2 letter B minus 3. Okay, so I did those two together. There they are. Boil them up. Now, now I have this one, ready? Now I have B to the 1 power times B to the 2 power. What do you think that's going to be? B3. B3. B to the 3. And B to the one times two B, what do you think that's gonna be when my fingers are? B times, this is the one. B times two, two B, B. Yeah, there you go, plus two B squared. And B to the one times a negative three, what do you think this is gonna be? Negative B three, um, B one. I'm sorry. Three B one, yeah, three. that's fine. Three letter B, a one, you don't, yeah. you don't do the one, that's fine. This one, negative four times B squared. Those two right there. Negative four B squared. Yep, that's right. And a negative four times a positive two B. Negative eight B. Negative eight letter B. And the last one, a negative four times a negative three. Negative times a negative is a, Positive 12. Positive 12. Okay, so now back to this part. We have B cubes. That's all the one there is. 
So now we have a 2a squared, 2b squared right here. Okay. And I have a negative 4b squared right here. So if I have positive 2 and a negative 4, what do you think that's going to be? You want 2, you lost 4. Negative 2? Yep. B squared? Yep. And now you have a negative 3 and you have a negative 8. A negative 3 and a negative 8 is a... Uh, 11, negative 11. There you go, negative 11, letter B. And the 12, I'm just going to copy it down. Like that. Okay. So you got to do step one, step two, step three, every single step, one step at a time. Can we do another one, please? Of course. Okay, I'm going to do the next page because it's kind of a little kind of long. Let's do another one just like this one. Another 71. So let's see. How about this? How about... um? X minus one, X minus two, X minus four, a bunch of minus signs. There you go. X minus one, X minus two, X minus four. So I'm going to do it the way I'm going to do it. I'm just going to do the last ones. And they say, it doesn't matter which way you go, but I'll do it this one. So X times X, what is that? 2X. X squared. X squared. There you go. And what's X times negative four? Negative four x. There you go. And what's negative two times x? Negative two x. And the negative times the negative is a uh, positive. positive eight. Yeah, positive eight. Is everybody okay right there? So now I'm gonna copy this x minus one, and this one I'm gonna do. So we have x squared, don't mess with it. What about the negative four and the negative two? How much is that? These two right here. Think like money. Minus four, minus two is how much? Think like Las Vegas. You lost four, you lost 2,000. What do you use? What is it? Six, negative, negative six. six. Negative six. Okay, is everybody okay with the middle number? Let me highlight it again. A negative four and a negative two is a negative six. Yes or no? Yep. Okay. So now, now I'm going to do this one. So ready? So X1 times X2, what do you think that is? X to the third. X to the third. And X1 times negative 6X1. What about these two where my fingers are? Negative 6X squared. Yep. Minus six x squared. And x to the one times eight, what is that gonna be? Eight x. Eight x. All right, so now this one. Negative one times x squared. Negative one x squared. Yep, negative one x squared. And negative one times negative six, a negative times a negative, 6x. Plus 6x? Okay. Somebody say plus 6x. Yes or no? Yes? Yes. And a negative 1 times 8. Negative 8? Yeah. Negative 8. All right. So now I'm going to put these together. Ready? X cubed. And then I don't know. Let's see what happens here. Before I say anything, let me highlight it. You have negative 6x squared. And you have negative... 1x squared. What do you think that's going to be? Negative 7x squared. Yep. Negative 7x squared. And you're going to have 6x. And you're going to have 8x. What do you think that's going to be? 14x. 14x. And what else? Negative 8. Negative 8. Okay. That's 3 by 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 2. 3 by 3, 3 by 3. All right, I'm going to go 72. Okay, 72. It says x minus 4 and x plus a 4. x minus 4, x plus a 4. Ready? What is x times x? x squared. 
x squared a when you got it. What's x times 4? Four? 4x. Four 4x. Four What's negative 4 times x? Negative 4x. And the negative times the positive is a... Uh, negative 16. 16, right? All right. So before I say anything, let me, let me write this down. So this person, they won 4,000, whatever, Las Vegas, whatever. But then they lost 4,000 too. What happened there? Cancels out. Let me say cancel them out like this. Yes or no? Yes? So is it this one left over only? Is everybody okay with the answer at the end? Yes. You won four. And you lost four. So if you can say to you, you want to make yourself feel better, you broke even. How's that? You want money at the casino and you give it all back to the casino. Does that make sense? So you didn't lose money. You didn't have. All right. I'm going to the next one. 73. Is that right? Yes? Yes. Let's go next one. Yeah, let's go next one. I think you're getting. I think the skills are coming. You're getting them now. 17. Uh, oh, let's see. Not 17. Uh, 73. All right. 73 says, it says X plus 11 to the power of 2. That means I got to do X plus 11 times X plus 11 because it says 2 power. Is it better okay with step number 1? Yes. So now let's do the multiplication. X1 times X1. Give me numbers. X squared. X squared. X times 11. 11X. 11X. Then 11 times X. 11X. Okay. Now the last one. 11 times 11 calculator. Eleven times eleven. One twenty-one. One twenty-one. So we have x squared. And can I add eleven x and eleven x together? How much twenty-two is that? x. There you go. That's twenty-two x plus one twenty-one. Okay, that's good. Let's go seventy-four. All right, you're getting the skills, man. It's coming to you. Two y minus seven. All of it squared. Means you gotta go 2y minus a 7 times 2y minus a 7. You gotta do it two times. Everybody okay with this? Twice? So yes. now, let's multiply it out. So 2y times 2y. Give me numbers. 4y squared. There you go. 4y squared. And 2y times negative 7. Minus 14y. Minus 14 then a y. And negative 7 times 2y. Minus 14y. Again, negative 14y. That's right. And a negative times a negative? Positive. Positive 49. Y. 49. Okay, now, think like money. Think like money. You lost money. Uh, you lose your friend, lost. And then you lose your friend, lost more money the next day. What is in the middle? 20y. Negative 28y. Yeah, there you go. Negative 28y. Does that make sense for the middle? A negative and a negative is still going to be a, a negative answer. Does that make sense for number 74? Yep. Yes? Okay, I'm going to the next one then. I'm going to go to number 75. 75. And I have another question for you. You go to YouTube dot com and you go to all of it is math help videos your playlist and you go and it says uh pressure pressure college algebra I don't know I think might have math thirteen fourteen I don't remember what I put in there math thirteen fourteen and it'll say something like save Kelly 48. All right, once you get in here, YouTube, Alvarez Mass Health Playlist, and you get this, 
you make sure do this right here. Do this. Hit the subscribe thing. So clicks. So in case they change finals on me or they change anything else, I can just shoot it in there and give it to you. Does that make sense? So just do this. That way you I can upload it whenever they give it to me. All right. But now we're in question number 75, right? All right, let's go 75. 75, it says 2x plus 3y times 2x minus 3y. One's a plus and one's a minus. Ready? Tommy, step one, what do you do? What's this going to be? 4 squared. 4x squared. All right? And what's 2x times negative 3y? Negative 6xy. That's right, 6xy. And 3y times 2x or 2x times 3y, you can rewrite it as like, y. Yeah, you can just write 6xy instead of yx. It's the same thing. The last one, a positive 3y and a negative 3y. Negative, negative 9y. 9y squared. Y squared. It's a negative, right? Positive, negative, negative. All right, so think like money or something. What happened? Oh, man, I won 6. It cancels out. It. it cancels out. Boom, they're gone. So is it just going to be this leftover? Like that? Yes or no? Are okay with 75? Yes. Okay. And then say, yes, it's good. Let's go to the next one now. 18. Uh, and 76. One was 80, man. One was 80. Get out of here. So you can go eat it. So you can go to Ma Margie's or I don't know where you go. Somewhere. All right, 76. 5x plus y, but all of it is squared. So that means you got to do it how many times? Twice, right? So let me write it out. 5x plus y times 5x plus y twice, like that, two times. Everybody okay with step number one? Yes. So the first one, what is 5x, 5x? Give me those numbers. 25x squared. All right, success, 25x squared. And what's 5x times the y? Plus 5xy. There you go. That's 5xy. And now this one. What's 5x times y? 5xy. Yep, 5xy. And what's y times y? Y squared. Y squared. Now, we have 5x squared, and you have 5xy, and you have 5xy. What do you think that's going to be? 10xy. 10xy. 10xy plus y squared. Is everybody okay with the middle number? You have 5xy added to 5xy is a 10xy. Does everybody agree that that number right there? Yes or no? Yes? Yes. All right. Success, man. 77. Yay. We're getting there, man. We're getting there. 77. We got three more after this. Then you can go to Whataburger, I guess. I don't know. Something that's close by. A squared minus 6A plus 36. So ready? So A to the 1 times A to the 2. What do you think this one is? My fingers are. A to three. A three. All right. So a to the one times negative six a to the one. What do you think that's going? A to six a squared. Yep. Minus six a squared. A to the one times thirty six. Thirty six a. Plus thirty six a. Now this one. Six times a squared. 6 a squared. Yes. And 6 times negative 6 a. Negative 36 a. The last one. Positive 6 times 36. A giant number. What's 6 times 36? 16. Multiplication. Multiply the two numbers. Do in the calculator. 216. How much? 216. Yeah, 216. 
Okay, everybody okay with 216 at the end? Six times that? Yeah. Yes. But now, let's see. Do this carefully. You had 6a squared. Uh, then I have a minus 6a squared. What about those two? What do you think? What happens there? Boom. Cancels out. Get out of here. Then I have a 36a and a negative 36a. What about those? Cancels out as well. Cancels. Those are gone too. So what's left over? A plus two six cubit plus two sixteen. That's it. Yeah, because those went away and those went away. Y'all see that right there? How oh, they disappeared? Yes. I'm gonna go next one. Gonna go next number seventy eight now. Yes. All right. Let's go seventy eight. Oh man, we got three more. Yeah, I'm thinking about it right now. Thinking about this. All right, number 78. Here it is. Number 78, they say it says this word. Determine if the number is, is in this word here, domain. I just tell you what that means in a second. All right. Or Let's see. Determine if well, you know, I just say just said determine is it a solution? Yes or no? What is it saying? Determine if it's a solution. That's all it says. It said, is it does it work? Yes or no? So here's the problem. Ready? Negative seven x plus three equals negative four. So they say, all right, we think the answer is negative one. Is that right? Yes or no? Let's check it. How do you check if it just works in here? Plug it in there, right? So negative seven. Times negative one plus three equals negative four. What's what's the negative times the negative? Right here with my fingers. Seven. Positive. Positive. Oh, seven plus three equals negative four. And what's seven plus three? Um, ten. So ten for sure is never gonna be a negative four, right? So is that an answer? No way. No, that's not an answer. All right, let's do it again. Negative seven X plus three equals negative four. What if the answer you try is a positive one? Does that one work in this formula? Let's figure it out. Seven times one plus three. Does that work? I don't know. What's negative seven times one? Negative seven. Yes, negative seven. And what's a negative seven and plus three? You calculate, of course. What is it? Negative four. Negative four, right? So this side is negative four, and this side is negative four. So guess what? The answer is yes. This is a good answer for this formula, isn't it? Okay, and then one other formula that they say to try is this one. They say, all right, and try this other answer, one other answer. Try it positive four. Does that work? I don't know. Let's find out. I'm going to put it in the formula and see if it works. Yes or no. Let's try it out. Yes or no. So we have negative 7 times 4 plus 3. Does that work? I don't know. What's negative 7 times 4? What is it? Negative 21. Right now. Maybe. Maybe. Do the calculator. Negative 7 times 4. Negative 28. Negative 28 plus 3. And when I do this part right here, what's a negative 28 and a positive 3? Negative 25. Uh, negative 25. Uh, that's not going to be this. Is it work? The answer is what? No. 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 Yes, y'all see the, the only one that was yes, this one right here. Yes, this is the one that you want to try. The other one, no, I messed up, it didn't work. All right, I'm gonna go 79 to 80. All right, we're almost there, man. Two more questions. All right, 20. All right, number 79.
to solve. So it means you try to get the letter by itself somehow. There we go. 2x plus 5 equals 15. I need to get rid of the plus 5 first. So what do I do to both sides? Guess. Subtract by 5. Yes, subtract 5, subtract 5. So that's going to be gone. So it's going to say 2x equals 10. Now I'll divide by what? 2. Mm -hmm. This one by 2. This one by 2. So guess what the answer is going to be? 5. 5. Okay, let's do another one. 79. How about this one? 2x minus 1 is 11. This time I have a negative number in there. 2x minus 1 equals 11. What do you do to both sides? Add 11. Ah, take my finger. Add 1. Add 1. Ah, there you go. All right, so these are gone, I know, for sure. They're out of here. So 2x equals 12. Now what? Divide by what? 2. 2, there you go. This one by 2, this one by 2. These are gone, so x is what answer? 6. 6. All right, let's do another one like this. Same thing. We're just going to change the numbers, okay? About 4x plus 1 equals 51. No, let's make it, let's make it 41. That sounds better. Okay, this one. So 4x plus 1, what do you do both sides? Subtract 1. Subtract 1. 1, subtract 1. So 4x equals 40. Now what? Divide by, by 4. 4. Yeah, this one by 4 and this one by 4. So x is, what's the answer? 10. And okay, let me do let me do more like this so you can get the hang of it, okay? We get in it. Uh 79. All right. Let's say pack tuition and fees. You go to Palo Alto College, they charge you tuition and fees. So let's say fifty dollars an hour, and automatically everybody comes to Palo Alto, you pay four hundred dollars for fees. That's the way it works. And let's say your bill is $900. Let's say, okay, you need to give us $900. Okay. How do you solve this one? Subtract what? 400. There you go. Subtract 400. And subtract 400 like this. So these are gone, right? So 50x equals 500. Then what? Divide by 50. Divide by 50. This one by 50. And this one by 50. So if I do that, x is what? 100. Well, divide, do it in the calculator. 500 divided by 50. Do it in the calculator. Don't do it in your head. These are triple digits, double digits. Oh, 10. 10. There you go. All right. So if you take 10 hours, Paul, also, if you take 10 hours, you're going to have to pay them $900 or something like that. Does that make sense? 10 hours means you got to pay. How much money? All right. Let's say you don't go here. Let's say you go to um, a private university. Okay, and the, this is numbers are different. Let me set up the numbers. 2,000X plus $4,000. And your bill is going to be $24,000 for the one semester. Okay. Because the private universities charge more money. So step number one, subtract so what? 4,000. 4, 4,000, exactly. Minus 4,000 and minus 4,000. So I know these are gone. Boom. So I have 2,000x equals what's 24,000 minus 4,000? 20,000. 20,000, yes or no? All right. So now, using your calculator skills only, divide this by 2,000 and divide this number by 2,000. And if I do that, so how many hours are you taking at the private university to end up paying two $24,000 bill? 10. 10? You said 10? Yeah. All right, so yeah, it's the same thing, 10. 10 hours. So you're taking math, English history, math, English history, but this, since this is a state school, it's controlled by the state. The prices are controlled by the state. This is a private place, so that nobody controls them. Does that make sense for number 
79, 79? Yep. Yeah. Wow. So you got government English math. Government English math. But it just costs more money. That's all. But think about it. Your best friends always go to the private universities, right? So you should go with them, right? Also, and if you don't have money, that's okay. You can sign a student loan for 10, 30 years, right? You can do that. Did they, do, they, they let you sign student loans? Yes, always. They're your friends, man. All right, number 80. Let's go to number 80. Okay, we're almost there. Wow, oh, oh, man, the last kind of bounce. 80, yay, yay. 80, let me, let me do number 80 for my paper here. All right, here's the example. Minus 4x minus 5 is... 11. So minus 4x minus 5. What do you do first? Add 5. Subtract, add what? So add something. Add 5. There you go. Somebody say add 5. Add 5. So this is minus 4x is, I don't know, what is that number? 16. 16. Okay. Then what? Divide by something. Negative 4. Mm -hmm. This one by negative 4. And this one by negative four, like that? Okay. So what's the answer? Negative four. Negative four, like that. Okay, now I want to do this one. I'm going to do two more of these, and hopefully, I'm going to put a bunch of minus signs. Negative two X, negative two equals negative 22. Negative, negative, all the way across. So negative two X, negative two, what do you do to both sides? You tell me. Add two. Add two. Add two. Add two. So negative two X is, uh, I don't know, what is that number? 20. Maybe. Negative. Negative 20, yes or no? Yeah, because positive and negative is a, it's a negative. Now I divide by what? Negative two. Yeah, negative, negative. If I divide negative and negative, what are you gonna get? Positive 10. 10, is that okay like that, yes or no? Yes? Yes, okay, I'm gonna do one more 80 and then hopefully you'll be you'll be all smart, right? You know how to do this stuff. It's coming back to you. All right, so let's say I'll give you an example. Uh number, what is this? Number 80. All right, let's say you're digging a, a statistics class, okay? And you need to find the average, the average of uh, people or something. So let's say you go here. So park. Mall right there. Food court. All right. If you go to the South Park Mall food court, that's where they have pizza, spaghetti, they have Chick fil A, I don't know, Taco Bell. There's a bunch of places there. Okay. Go down there. And you want to know this what is the average, the average height of male guys that are there? at the food court, not just the food court, not where else, just in the food court. So you look around, you can kind of estimate where they are, and on the average, all the guys are taller, shorter, whatever, but on the average, they're five foot, two inches tall, okay? On the average, it could be more, it could be less. Okay, and then the second thing you gotta do for your statistics class is find the, the average weight of the guys that are there at South Park Mall, food court, all right? So the average weight of the guys that are there, they know you know they're like five foot two inches tall on the average. I mean, there's taller, shorter, but if you add them all together, divide it, that's what it is. And then the weight of the guys that are there, on the average, they probably weigh, I don't know, not a lot, like, I don't know, you should say this. They weigh like 260 pounds on the average. There might be get bigger guys, Guys that weigh 300, 310, 320, guys that weigh less, you know, 190, 180, 170, I don't know, something like that. So this is the average. The average height of the guy is how much? Five foot, two inches tall. And the average weight of the guy's is sophomore, 260 pounds, is it? Okay, average. So now, they say this guy here, he's five foot two, he says, man, 260, I feel kind of, I feel a little bit heavy, a little bit. He said, I want to lose weight. Is this possible? Tell me if this is possible. Can he lose 
two pounds in one week, yes or no? If you get on a diet, eat the right foods, exercise, when, on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, next Thursday, can you lose two pounds by then? Yes or no? I say yes, it's reasonable. Yeah. All right, so right now this guy weighs 260. All right, what's, what's the perfect weight for a guy that's five foot two? He's all muscly and everything. What do you think it would be? Five, five foot two inch guy? 160. What do you think he, he should weigh? 150, 160, I don't know. Let's go 160, let's just do 160. Because I'm thinking also, once you start losing weight, you start exercising, you're gonna get muscles anyway. So the fat you have in your body goes away, replaced with muscles. So you're gonna get more lean anyway. So I'm gonna say, I weigh 260, I wanna weigh 160. And I know I can do it two pounds a week. So how do we solve this problem right here? What do I subtract first? You tell me. Somebody said subtract the 260 right away. Okay, let's do that right now. So 2x, negative 2x, plus 260, minus 260, and 160 minus 260. So now you tell me, what is 160 minus 260? Doing a calculator. Negative 100. Negative 100. All right, so now, I'm going to divide by something and divide by something. What do you divide by? Negative 2. Negative 2, negative 2. So x equals? Negative 50. Well, not negative 50. A negative by a negative is a? Positive 5. Ah, there you go. So 50 weeks, like almost one year from now, this guy who's in South Park Mall, he said, you know what? I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to get in shape, man. I'm going to go from 260 to 160. He's going to say, I, and it's only going to take me 50 weeks of working out hard, eating the right foods, and I'll get there. And let me let me show you the plan. A, from now on, no more vanilla shakes and anything else. All he's going to do is going to drink water. No more, no more coffee with extra cream and sugar. No, just water. Letter B, from now on, he's going to, Try to get as much 100% fiber food that he can get. All the time, what is he going to eat? Fiber, 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 fiber. All the time. Water and fiber. And then letter C. This is the hard part. Ugh, he's going to have to exercise. What? Exercise. Lift weights, run, jog, swim. I don't know. Whatever you're going to do. Or, I mean, easier. I know what easier way to do this. Okay, you go get a DVD called I N S A N called Insanity. You buy the DVD called Insanity, and you eat your what? You drink your water always. You eat your fiber. Oh yeah. And then for breakfast, what are you gonna do? You wake up in the morning, and you eat your breakfast, fiber water, and then you do the DVD for one hour. Whatever the guys on the, on the DVD and Insanity do, you do it. Does that make sense? Easy. All right, lunchtime. When lunchtime comes around, get another DVD. Get this. Get the P90X. It's another workout tape or CD. And do one hour of this also. And what do you do? Eat fiber and water. And then finally, yay, for dinner. Here's the plan. For dinner, you get the, uh, what's it called? Uh, oh, I know which one. Tap out. Okay, this is the one that the guys that are MMA fighters. Those guys are UFC. That's what they use to get in shape for fights. They do the tap out program. And you're going to do that for one hour also. Just like them. Whatever they do, you do it. Okay, so here's a question for you. If you do this breakfast and lunch and dinner program and you do insanity for one hour, P90X for one hour, and tap out M USC fighting state for one hour. Are you, is this guy going to get to this number here? Yes or no? What do you think? Yes or no? What do you think? I say yes. He's going to get there. How's that? All right. Let me stop there. Get out of here. All right. I'm going to turn it off in, in one minute. So go look at my YouTube website, okay? Thank right, you.
Get out of here. Go go to Mom Argy's somewhere. <laughs> Thanks, Professor. All right, later, guys. Go go live ways or something. I don't know. Or go to the go to the Pizza Hut buffet. Bye. Thank you. Bye. All right, later, later. I'll see y'all next week. Okay. Thanks. Later, later.